Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I'll shake. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So we back in the building this week. Uh, we got something uh, something new. I think uh, somebody might have had it before. I've, I've seen it on an ad, so it made me go pick it up. And the, the name was interesting. Heaven's Door, right? So uh, I was at, shout out to uh, Harper Liquor, which is uh, our provider for a lot of the spirits that we have on the show. Uh, but yeah, so I was checking it out. There's a few different expressions I did see, the uh, double barrel. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and give that one a shot. Uh, Heaven's Door it does have a co-creator uh, of Bob Dylan. I don't know who the other creator is, but Bob Dylan, of course, is an American songwriter. And one of his uh, songs is Knocking on Heaven's Door. Which is uh, probably how they came up with this uh, with this title. So this one is uh, categorized as an American whiskey, so not quite a bourbon. Uh, it is a hundred proof, so I'm excited to see what that's going to be about. Uh, the the whole double barrel thing. I want to see if it does change the the, uh, the taste profile at all. Uh, so let's take a look at it and see see what's going on. This is brand new to me. I'm kind of excited. Nice little design on there. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. <laughs> it looks like somebody's working and digging some shit. Like, I'm not sure exactly what that is. They're building a heaven's door, I guess. Right. <laughs> right. Interesting bottle, to say the least. Uh, of course, last week we had the Detroit City Distillery where you could okay. knock somebody's brain out. <laughs> Stupid dog. You could knock somebody's brain out, but not with this one. This, uh, this bottle is not as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a double barrel whiskey? Yep. Um, it's a whiskey because they didn't use new white oak, so okay. they probably used some old, some old, old barrels, barrels to do the second rendition. So you can't them. classify yeah, it as bourbon. Yeah, that's like I said, it's stupid, but that's what, what it is. is. All right, pause for court. And, <laughs> and it's a real no. That's, that's when the fourth go round. Uh, right. I can't like baby girl. I, Remember that? I got that enough. That premature ejaculation <laughs> from a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Woo. you said that. <laughs> that sounds like a premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> or like you said, after the fourth time when don't nothing come out, you thought you had orgasm, but you don't even know. All right, let's get back to the answer. <laughs> you get pregnant on that one. Right? <laughs> nothing came out of that one. <laughs> Maybe come out of that and you cast. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So I think we're back to we're back to to cocoa and that type of sweetness. We're away from fruit, I believe. I definitely smell chocolate. Yeah, we're away from fruit. I, I smell some like. chocolate in here somewhere. Dark chocolate. I taste some cocoa. I taste like a dark, like a dark, yeah, dark, like a, almost like a bitter chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nice little pepper on the back end. So I got chocolate and vanilla. Nothing else. That's it. Yeah, I got chocolate. I, I get a, I get some hints of the vanilla. Yeah, like the no, after the fact. I, mean, I think the, the, the vanilla after the fact. Yeah, and it drops off a cliff immediately. No hug. There's no hug. No, no, no last. It's a bitter aftertaste though. I got on the back of my tongue. It's a bitter aftertaste. It's bitter. It, it's yeah. It, it, to me, it's like it's like that real that really dark dark chocolate taste to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I it's okay. Um, I expected a little more honestly. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a good punch to it. I think the drop off probably makes the punch a little less because of the drop off. I don't even really just disappear. I don't even really get that punch though. 
How much? No, was I don't. It was fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. What do you What do you think about that? The price it's overpriced. It's overpriced. I think it's overpriced. I'm gonna have my dog. It's definitely overpriced. Only because it drops off so quick. Yeah, it does drop um, off. There's no. There's no hug to it. The the smoke possibly adds to the hug. Let me try. Possibly. Like it's still not like a super long finish or anything like that, but it probably adds to the hug just a just a bit. Only with the char. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The char comes out once you have the cigar draw. Yeah. Not bad. So something different. Last last few weeks, uh, we've been having a, a fruit sweetness. So we're back to some of the classic stuff chocolate like cocoa. Vanilla char. Yeah, that's what I get. Yeah, like again, dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah that kind of dark chocolate. Or and that's why I said cocoa because when I'm thinking you about cocoa, cocoa, I'm thinking about that. Yeah. You know that, that bitter ass cocoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know how you get that mixed bag of uh, Hershey's, and everybody eats everything in there except the dark so chocolate. Like, that's what, that's, what that's what it is. is. It is definitely. I like it though. I like it. Now, obviously, I I, I won't say that. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to make it to the to the top of my list uh, of you know some of my favorite things. But I, I do think that it's uh, what I revisit. That, I guess is the real question. Would I revisit this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's good. Like it's decent. But like, would I go get another bottle after this? Probably not. Tasting it now, I don't think I'd ever buy a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's bad. Mm-hmm. I, there's just a hundred other things I would rather have. Right. Mm-hmm. So at that price point. At that yeah. structure, it's 60 bucks. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm not spending $60 for this. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, now, nah. if you told me 31, 32, damn, I might be able to do it. You take, wait a minute, you take it down to 31. I'm dropping $20 off, the, off that box. Damn. I'm not spending $60 on this. Yeah. No. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just, it's just for the price point. Right, right, gotcha. right, right. I right. Gotcha. For it to be worth sixty, well, it's gotta have $60 a look. Sixty dollars is a phone bill for some people. Depending Facts. on what carrier you're with. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to is Cricket. It worth a month? <laughs> Shout out to Cricket. I just paid my. Is it, is it worth fifty five because I got it on auto pay? <laughs> so is it worth your phone bill? <laughs> no, I say I, I'm not going back to it. Um, honestly, the intrigue was was the name. I think Heaven's Door was like it intrigued me. I want to see what it was about. It being hundred proof uh, intrigued me, and also. Just the the double barrel concept. I kind of wanted to see what that was going to be like. Um, I'm not I'm not disappointed. I guess because I didn't really know what to expect. So I think that it's it's decent. Like I'm going to drink it, but like once it's gone, am I going to replace it with another bottle? Probably not. Yeah. Especially like you said for the sixty dollar price point. You know what? If if I was just I could have this at the party and share it with a lot of people. But I don't think I'm putting this in the personal collection. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. And I'm not even sure. So. And for, I think for a celebrity uh, whiskey, mm-hmm. it's actually pretty good. You know, most of us celebrities be trash. Uh, put a nice yeah. But yeah. this right. is actually a decent celebrity expression. But right. I don't know if it's worth. It's just not worth sixty dollars. That's gotcha. Right. So more, mostly for you is the price. Price one. That's all. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, you heard our preliminary analysis, though. Uh, uh, a lot of a heavy, heavy on the dark chocolate, heavy on the dark chocolate, and surprisingly, I actually I like it. Don't know if it's a a, a do over though after this. I wonder what it tastes like in some hot chocolate. Yeah, or if you spice up if you like spice or up coffee. Stuff, yeah, it might. Or it coffee, would do, it would do well for that. Make you a cappuccino, <laughs> <laughs> right? You know what? A mudslide. There you go. Hey, that in a mudslide, it should be fire. But the fact that we gotta talk about coffee and mud slides and, and cocoa and shit is yeah, yeah. You know what we're saying. So anyway, we're about to go to commercial break. <laughs> when we get back though, we're gonna give our rating system one to five power, black power fists. Uh, we're gonna go around the table and see uh you know what we're gonna give it. But uh till then, we'll be right back after commercial break. Everybody loves BBW, beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast, whole gang is here, dog. Angry principal, Bo in the building, and of course. Your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from Quay 205, man. Be back. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And 
we're back. Thank y'all for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is here, man. I got Angry Principal and Bo holding it down. And, of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So we back in the same episode with the Heaven's Door, getting ready to give our one to five Black Power Fist ratings. Bo, we're going to start with you, bro. One to five Black Power Fist. What you give a Heaven's Door, dog? And Bob Dylan. <laughs> so nothing against Bob Dylan, you know, respect his music or whatnot, right. right? But uh, I don't really say a whole lot when I'm not a fan or something, right? And I'm not really a fan of this, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a one. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm not a fan. Wait a minute! This has <laughs> never happened on the Beers, Bird, Whiskey oh. podcast. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fan. He has given a one. It's getting a one for me, bro. We ain't never had a one. Why? So it's got it's got nobody no, up front, what? right? Nobody up front. It's not complex. Favorite pro, favorite profile is just simply dark chocolate, like you That's said. Exactly what that it is. leftover bag of Hershey's chocolates or whatnot. Like I can just go get the bag of you all to eat all the dark chocolates in it and get the same effect, right? And right. have me a beer or something, you know, whatever. But uh, oh no, we gave Tim no hug. His name Tim, whatever. Yeah, the, the moonshine. Oh, we the moonshine. Gave him too. That. There's no hug. There's, that there's, bad? there's no flavor profile. There's no hug. No, there's no one. <laughs> it gets a one for me, man. You know? <laughs> no, I, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. My, 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 my cigar is burning weird. You know, so. <laughs> everything <laughs> fucked up. Everything is all bad. Yeah. Aliens exist. Yeah, aliens out here. You know? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you get a solid one black power. A pepper. solid one. Yeah, huh? solid <laughs> one. <laughs> Angry principal, man. So what you was, say, bro? <laughs> Dog said a one. Look, I was feeling bad for my 2.5. Yeah. I was thinking 2.5, but the price point puts it at two for me. Mm. I, I just am against spending sixty dollars on this. So I'm a solid two. Uh, overpriced. Okay. Yeah. I'm Bag a solid of two. I just it's just overpriced for a decent bird. Mm-hmm. It's just not. There's nothing phenomenal about it. It's just yeah, decent. It's not worth And the price point is just not. That's so it. that's what throws it off for me. I give it a two. Gotcha. All right. On that though, yeah, I, I was definitely going to go with uh, uh, a two. Dog threw me for a loop of the one. I, <laughs> I was feeling bad. Never, <laughs> never seen before on BBW, dog. First time of the one. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give it a, a solid two. It is, there's no complexity there. Uh, like you said, it's dark chocolate from the beginning to the end. Uh, not a lot of hug on the end, and even for me, at a hundred proof, uh, I did expect a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't get that. It is kind of like uh, a sixty dollar bottle of uh, dark chocolate. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I'm still like gonna give it a one dog out here fooling. <laughs> but again, everybody's palate is different, so we do encourage you to try it on your own. Let me ask something. Mm-hmm. I'd rather go buy a fifteen dollar bottle of Evan Williams. Oh, well, I can't. I, I can't. I can't comment on that because black label, black label, oh, Evan Williams, not the bottle of bond. <laughs> <You're pulling down. laughs> the black label, Evan Williams. So, you know, like the big ass, you know, the big bottle you can get for like eighteen bucks. You know, for eighteen bottle. you get the leader. Yeah, 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 you get the leader. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather go get that. You know, I'm gonna choose that motherfucker anyway. I'm but, gonna, yeah. but the uh, so so what I will say is this: uh, the dark chocolate taste. Actually, it's cool. Like it's a good, it's a good flavor profile. It just needs to be encompassed by something else. There needs to be some complexity to it. I, I'm not against the dark chocolate uh, taste, uh, but then you got to give me something else too, like with it, I guess. And that's why we're uh, rating it so low. Again, everybody's palate is different. We do suggest that you try it on your own. Uh, fair warning, though, it is a sixty dollar bottle, mm-hmm. and it does basically just taste like dark chocolate. I mean that's really what it is. Price points only my own issue. Yeah, it is hundred proof, but it's not it's not hitting like I feel like a hundred proof shit. Yeah, we, we do it like that. No, it's not hitting like sixty dollars. <laughs> that's what it is, right? So on that note, we give it a little one. I want my sixty dollars, right? That's what it I figured, dude. Damn, I, I bought that bottle too. So anyway, on, on that note, we up out of here. <laughs> Make sure that you check out uh, our website www Everybody loves bbw.com. Get your merch, all that good stuff, man. I don't have my hat on today. But uh you can check out all our merch, uh hat, hats, glasses, t-shirts, all kind of shit, man. Check us out. Uh that's it. We'll be back next week with another episode of BBW. <laughs> <laughs> Beers.
bourbon, whiskey, and pie. Yeah, use your words. Use your words. Got my man Andrew yeah. Principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like, just not dark. Exactly. For $60, that's all. Got my man Bo holding it down. I sure. And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. For the 4205, man. Peace out, man.